welcome everybody once again to another lesson. Um, I was just about to start working on this and I thought to myself, well, I'm not just going to do a YouTube video here. Um, this one is also going to be available on Michael James Smith TV, which is my lessons on demand website. Um, link is in the description. Um, I just think that it's a good scene. Um, I think it make a good lesson both for YouTube and for the website. So if you do want to see this painted um, in its entirety, from start to finish, no time lapse um, instruction throughout, then uh, head over to my website, michaeljamesmith.tv. Um, right, now I'm gonna get started, so uh, let's give it a bash. Moving over to the actual sand dunes and the beach itself, um, what we need to do, obviously we have areas where you can see the sand, for example in between here, but the sand that we can see within these areas of grass, we really can't see much of it and it's a fair amount darker. I think what we need to do is perhaps a glaze over just the sand area. So probably we're going to concentrate on this area here and then this expense or expanse sorry of sand we'll do afterwards. We're going to concentrate on this bit here first because there's not a great deal of uh, detail within the sand. Now we're going to use the tree and texture series 3 size 3 eighths um, and I'm going to start now adding just some darker shades. So the paint's starting to dry on the panel. I'm going to mix some more. Now, yes, of course it does need to be dry, but it, sorry, it does need to be dark, not too dark. I'm going to add some ivory black and some dioxazine purple to the white there. A little bit of cerulean blue and maybe some more purple. So that's giving us a slightly darker blue. Let's have a look. I don't think that's quite dark enough. Let's add some more purple and more cerulean blue. Right, now I don't want too much on the brush. I'm taking off a little bit because we want, each, each time I touch the uh, panel, we want it to leave multiple brush marks rather than one single brush mark. If I put too much on and did that, you'd just get one big brush mark. And then using that, we're going to give a texture just to the sand inside the or in the, the areas within here where we have the grasses. If I add that light blue that we've just done, what we're going to get is um, some of the light blue going over the dark grasses. We don't want that because when we then come to do the dark grasses, it's going to pick up that light blue or too much of the light blue and it'll become a bit milky. We need those grasses to stay transparent. So what we're gonna do is a glaze. And now, as you can see, as I go over these darker areas, I'm able to even go over the, the darker block in here and it's not putting a lighter color over the top. So this is just a, a see-through glaze, really. Okay, right. Now what I need to do is add 
or just darken up some of the areas of within here some of these dark shades that we can see in the foliage we need to darken that up we're going to do that in pretty much the same way i'm just going to clean the brush the tree and texture series there Okay, so, right, what we now need to do is start actually making this look like grass. Or in this case here, there's, there seems to be more sort of um, leaves and flowers and some of that, but there's a fair amount of grass there too. Let's start working over this side first of all, and we'll start building up on some of those details. So I'm going to go back to the Series 1 size 0, to the rigger brush again. We're going to thin the paint out. Now I'm still going to work with that darker colour. No, it's thinned out, so what I'm going to start doing is adding some of the details within the actual sand itself. So you can see little areas of, of grass and just general debris within that. So I'm going to start building up on that first of all. added enough thinner to give this that ink consistency and that allows us to keep these brush marks nice and sharp starting to get to a point where that's looking pretty good um, obviously we have these areas of grass here as well going to take a much steadier hand to get those correct. fine for the time being. Now what we can start doing is adding some definition to the grasses here. I'm just going to give that brush a clean out now. Move over to the dagger brush, the ivory dagger, series 9, size 1 8. And I'm going to start now putting in some of these lighter tones that we can see. Now with this brush, you know, the paint doesn't need to be thinned.
and just some lighter little specks and you get sometimes is these little slightly bigger stones that just pick up pick up a little bit of light. But anyway, I hope you did enjoy that and um, I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.